One of the first exercises you will encounter while exploring services is how to get JSON from a REST endpoint. There is a variety of client-side JavaScript frameworks such as AngularJS, Backbone, and jQuery that allow you to do this from a web page. If your focus is on back-end development, Postman and Advanced REST Client are popular Chrome extensions while REST Shell is a command line interface for interacting with REST applications. In this tutorial, let's walk through exposing an endpoint that returns a list of JSON representing contacts in using the popular jQuery library to make the request. Following our Spring Boot tutorial, let us create a project using Spring Initializer web interface, selecting Spring Web and Velocity as a template engine. Let's start off by creating a contact and a contact controller class. The controller class is annotated with a REST controller, which is a convenience annotation that combines controller and response body. Next, creating a request mapping will expose an endpoint of contacts that will return JSON. We included additional metadata of produces and method, which is a good practice that will allow Spring to narrow down the mappings of the request. In other words, when dispatcher or servlet accepts a request, it will look at information in the request to determine where to route it. This would read, when a request is made to the application with an HTTP method of get, a URL of contacts, and wanting JSON, then Spring would execute the get context method. We will write a method to mock up some data, but it could be substituted to connect to a database or a microservice. Firing up our server and making the request to localhost 8080 contacts will convert the contacts array list to a JSON array. Once we have the REST URL returning JSON, we need to create the template and render the view. Since contact controller is annotated with REST controller, it will bypass the processing of the template and return the string directly to the response. We can fix this by either adding a new controller or changing the REST controller to a controller and adding the response body to the method we want to process JSON with. For this example, let's change the REST controller to controller and add the response body. We will then add the mapping that will resolve the template. Let's run through the template at a high level. Binding a click event to the button and upon the event firing will execute the jQuery get, a wrapper method for jQuery Ajax that will get JSON from the context endpoint on our local server. Each contact returned from the successful response will append a row to the table with a class of data-contacts-js. Finally, importing bootstrap CSS and adding classes will add some presentation eye candy. Opening up Chrome and Developer Tools counts to inspect the network traffic, we will make a request to localhost 8080 view, which will render the template successfully. Next, clicking on the button will fire a request to our local server, populating our table. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up. Have a great day.